A large container vessel owned by shipping giant Mass runs on green methanol. It stopped at Yangshan Port in Shanghai for the first ever bunkering of a methanol fueled vessel in China. Look how huge it is. It says all the way to zero because the fuel of this container vessel has zero carbon emission. Let's get on board to find out more. This ship has 10 cargo holds. If one cargo hold is filled with water, the volume of water would be enough to fill 19 Olympic swimming pools. The cargo holds are equipped with dual fuel engines capable of using both green methanol and traditional fuel. Compared with those vessels of similar size that use traditional heavy grade oil, this container vessel can save about 280 tons of carbon emission each day. That is equivalent to the carbon absorption of about 15,000 large trees annually. So it is a meaningful reduction when you look at the transport of goods uh, around, the, around the world. Because there are 250 methanol power ships that are under construction right now or on order across, uh, across Asia. According to a report from McKenzie, more than 95% of ships today are powered by internal combustion engines that run on various petroleum products, such as heavy fuel oil and diesel oil. Vincent Clark, CEO of Mask, is calling for a gradual increase of methanol and is optimistic about the Chinese market's green prospects. We still do not have enough methanol green methanol available to power all of the ships that are on order. A lot is being done here in China, which is really, really fantastic. But we need to see more projects come online in China and elsewhere in the world so that this is not only an intention, but this is actually an action. On the regulatory side, he suggests that countries should set up a global fuel standard to contribute to achieving carbon neutrality. Zhu Zhu, CGTN, Shanghai.